I am Dr. Christine Meyer. I am the owner and founder of Christine Meyer MD and Associates and the founder of the Team CMMD Foundation. I am the author of the newly published book, The Longest Mile. The book is about, you know, the very start of our team and basically at that time it was about the Broad Street Run and the food fight. In 2012, my practice was under attack um, by cancer. I was losing many young, healthy patients to this horrible disease. And when my aunt was diagnosed with stage 3B colon cancer, I kind of hit rock bottom and decided I had to try to do something about it. I could have stumbled across a link for, you know, an antidepressant advertisement and chosen that route. Instead, I stumbled across a link for a run and chose that route. And that was the birth of Team CMMD. I think it's a story that can impact people who are in a bad place, not sure that anything they do makes a difference. Your lowest moment could turn into your greatest moment, and I really feel like that happened. Telling a story that could maybe help somebody pull out of a deep, dark hole is so worthwhile. So this book is more for people who look up to athletes or aspire to be athletes but maybe don't see themselves as athletes. I really don't identify myself as a runner still, even to this day. It's almost like a caricature of a runner to me, like really funny, this is exaggerated. Real elite runners don't look like I do, feel like I do, or have these, uh, you know, dumb moments that I had as a non-athlete. I found it just funny and enjoyable to write those stories. It's about just deciding to do something and not really having any physical ability or thinking you have any physical ability and then doing it. I'm a doctor, I'm a business owner, so I have to take care of my patients and I have to be attentive to my practice. I'm a wife and I have a 16-year-old now, a 14-year-old and an 8-year-old. As the narrator of the story, it's clear that it was a struggle for me. The whole thing was a struggle, but what I think is not clear in the book, that it was a struggle for my family uh, and for my husband, who really carried the load of so many things. He's amazing. I mean, I think that the more stuff that happens with the team and with the book, the more he takes on. My favorite moment in the book is um, at the very beginning of the very first food fight. We are in the midst of preparing for, you know, the evening and uh, the door opens and a cool blast of air blows through and Chris is there. And by the time the food fight rolled around, he was kind of at the end of his proverbial rope. So to see him, you know, there and at this moment, this culminating moment for us was just wonderful. I think that was my favorite. <laughs> My, my gut feeling is always like, no, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> you got it all wrong. I was an accident. I was just, I clicked on the right link, but what really did it is this team, these people. Since the writing of the book, uh, we still do the Broad Street Run. We still support the American Cancer Society. We still have a food fight in some version every year, but our team has become so much more than that to help those fighting cancer in whatever stage, newly diagnosed to terminal, we inspire them, we encourage them, we let them know that they are not in this fight alone. Several of the patients that I talk about in the book have since lost their fight. Um, it's one of the main inspirations of the book, Debbie McLaughlin. She told me many times she wanted me to tell this story. It was painful. It was really hard to write their stories after they had gone. Um, with every iteration of the story that I wrote and then a proofread and an edit and a rework, it was just a reminder of the fact that they were here and then they were gone. But then I started hearing from their families who were just so grateful to have that. So I'm proud to have been able to do it. I will cherish the memories of all of those patients and I'm so grateful that they gave me the opportunity to share their stories. All right, Becky! 
Every year that I've run Broad Street, I've run it because I love that race and I love my team and I love our cause and I want to raise money to end this beast. Um, and I don't care about things like my pace or my athleticism. Um, this year, I lost someone very close to me uh, from the team. Ed Kakashka died um, in December. I decided that um, to honor him, I was going to really work hard to try to run at a faster pace than I ever have before. I've been training hard, and I'm going to try to um, get a personal best of this race. I hope they see that they are capable of more than they think they're capable of, physically, emotionally. And I think the biggest thing is that you can, you can make a difference. One human being can make a difference in this world if they just believe in what they're trying to accomplish. You know, believing in my team has changed the lives of so many people. And it all came from just a belief that there had to be something better than that dark moment.